Autobots, more than meets the eye. Autobots waits their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special collection showcase, we're going to be looking at the entire run of Decepticon Action Masters that were released in 1990 by Hasbro. So these are known as the Series 7 Decepticons, again released by Hasbro. There are other Action Masters, but they were European and different continent exclusives. So we're just going to concentrate on the main toy line here. So what I'm going to do in a second, we're going to pick up the camera, we're going to have a look at them in much more detail. I'm going to show you their partners and give you all their names. So if you're looking to collect them yourselves, you can match the right partners up with them. And as I'm lucky enough to have a couple of different types of packaging, we can have a look at the artwork and the battle scenes on the back of that. Right then, let's have a look at these. So again, now these aren't everybody's cup of tea. These really do split the Transformers fandom and community completely in half. But I do feel that they're getting slightly more popular mainly due to the fact that I know there is some ones called Red, which are robot enhanced design. And then there's another company as well that's making them like this. So basically making the figures that don't transform. And again, it is a strange, strange concept. And I've done a few videos on some of these already in a bit more detail, but this is just gonna be a very quick overview showcase of the figures. And also it might surprise a few of you because um, some of the figures now have mainline um, releases and they're li they literally look nothing like these. So the first guy we've got there is of course Bonsai Tron and his little Action Master partner is Razor Sharp. Next one who we know straight away and it is a very, very strange. And I know this is the main one that sort of put people off of course is Devastator and he's got Scorpulator down there with him. So you've got a Devastator that's just normal. He's tiny. He hasn't got all the little components, even though it looks like he has. So they didn't help themselves, Hasbro, when they made Devastator 1, to be fair. Moving over, we've got Croc. He's obviously had quite a few um, reissues down the Generations line. And he's there with Gatorade. This little guy here. As I say, that was the gimmick that these transformed. We're going to move over to Shockwave. And he's got fist fight. Now, Shockwave is a brilliant example of problems that you can have. I've took me ages to balance him. See that for limbs? Flimsy, flimsy limbs is the biggest problem that can happen with these figures. Moving over to Soundwave with Wing Thing. And then finally, we've got Treadshot. And he's with Catgut. Over there, we're going to come to these little um, mini vehicles in a second. We're just going to have a quick look at the carded versions of them so there are they are well they're they either on cards they're not in boxes and as i say the gimmick with these was the fact that it was the action master little toy the partner that transformed rather than the actual figure and then it became like a super powered up weapon again i've done videos on some of these individually as well if you'd like to see for yourself so we've got the smaller vehicles this guy here is action master axa and he's got the off-road cycle. And if you have a look on the top of his hands there, you can see, yeah, you can see they've got two holes in and you can see that I've actually took him off the handlebars for there just to see how they attach. So the cool thing about these ones, I suppose, is that all the hands are exactly the same. So you can put whoever you want onto this particular bike. All right, let's have a look at this. I should have got this out and transformed it. So if we look at the back, there's the two modes that they've got so with the vehicles the mini vehicles transformed and we've got a battle scene there that i'm going to show you in a second on one of the bigger boxes because it's much 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 better to see the other little vehicle that we've got over here is of course starscream and he's got a turbo jet now the larger play sets which are these huge box sets here again i've done a video on the megatron one so the megatron one is brilliant that's this huge tank there that transforms into a base and the megatron's really good he's nice and cartoon accurate but again just doesn't transform and then the huge huge one here is the stratonic jet with gut cruncher again just to reiterate if you're looking to complete your generation one line of figures these were the final ones that were released along that line in 1990. let's have a quick look then so very quickly i'll just show you this so there's the tank 
there's the base and there's the jet but more so i want to show you the battle scene on the back and because this is the standard battle scene you've obviously got the decepticons on this side and then the autobots i'll funny enough i'll do another video on them as well but i've done a video on wheeljack action master already and i think that's over i think i've done one on him as well but there you go so nice quick nice quick video just to give you i suppose the information on who comes with who if you're looking to match and marry up all of your action masters with their partners so there you go guys these were the very very tail end of figures that were released under the generation one banner by hasbro in literally 1990 so thank you very much for watching hope you found it informative hope it helps you with your collection and please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe